as you change the wavelengths of light that we use to treat the water, different shapes start to appear, living shapes start to appear. In some samples, they resemble an egg. And what do we think about eggs? Eggs are life. And depending on the type of water that we use and the treatment and the amount of treatment time, we get an increase in the density of the number of water threads. So what this means is that we can control how much light is in the water through the settings. You probably would like to see this now, right? Yes. Okay. We're going to watch now a time-lapse video that we took. What we did in our lab was we took a, a freezer. Okay, we're going to play it. So just watch it. We have our freezer, and as a glass front, we have a time-lapse camera. So you're seeing uh, this water sample being frozen over a period of uh, about four or five hours. So normal ice on the left, and there's our nice vortex funnel and implosion of water on the right. Okay. What do you think? Wow. And then sometimes really weird things will happen when we're playing with the settings on the machine. Sometimes we will we will get these pylons that will rise out of the water. And we get all different types of shapes. Uh, my daughter Kelly, who's in our lab, this is her project. She's done a phenomenal job uh, on these experiments. And uh, she calls this a strawberry. So she's making strawberries out of ice in the lab. So now that we have created a new form of water, uh, the question is, and by the way, this is patented already. Uh, this was a very quick patent for us. So we'll have uh, just filed another four patents on this. We'll have over 20 patents on this technology. Uh, by the time we're done. So we need to be able to determine if there's any benefits from drinking this water. We've, now we've created this new form of water, never existed before. Now we want to know if there's any longevity benefits.